Hello and welcome to this lesson on the Earth's early atmosphere and how it was affected by volcanoes. In today's lesson, we will explore how volcanic activity contributed to the composition of the Earth's early atmosphere. We will also understand how these volcanic gases led to the formation of oceans. So far, we've discussed Earth's current atmospheric composition and briefly looked at why it's hard to be sure about the composition of the early atmosphere. Let's now build on this foundation by looking at the evidence and explanations of what the early atmosphere might have been like. Theories suggest that volcanic activity played a major role in shaping the Earth's early atmosphere and in the formation of its oceans. To understand this, we need to explore some key processes from Earth's early history. In the first billion years of its existence, Earth was a highly volatile and dynamic place with frequent volcanic eruptions. These eruptions released a variety of gases into the atmosphere, the most important of which were carbon dioxide, water vapour, ammonia and methane. Notably, there was little to no free oxygen in this early atmosphere. As a result, Earth's atmosphere at that time was very different from the one we know today. A good way to imagine it is to think of the current atmospheres of Mars and Venus, both of which are rich in carbon dioxide. Similarly, Earth's early atmosphere is believed to have been mostly composed of carbon dioxide as well. A crucial component of the Earth's atmosphere that was affected by volcanic activity was nitrogen gas, N2. Over time, nitrogen gradually accumulated and became one of the most important gases in the atmosphere. Unlike water vapour and carbon dioxide, nitrogen is chemically inert, meaning it doesn't easily react with other substances. Because of this stability, nitrogen remained in the atmosphere, eventually becoming one of its dominant components, which we see today. In addition to nitrogen, volcanic eruptions also release smaller amounts of other gases, including methane, CH4, and ammonia, NH3. Although present in relatively minor proportions compared to water vapour and carbon dioxide, methane and ammonia played an important role. These gases likely contributed to the greenhouse effect, trapping heat and affecting the temperature of the early atmosphere. Now let's look at the formation of oceans. A key factor in the evolution of Earth's atmosphere was the role of water vapour. Volcanic eruptions released large amounts of water vapour, and as the planet began to cool, this vapour started to condense. It's similar to what happens when you leave a cold drink out on a warm day. Water droplets form on the surface. In the same way, as Earth cooled, water vapour condensed into liquid form, eventually giving rise to the first oceans. So, when we think about the composition of Earth's early atmosphere, it was primarily a mixture of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, water vapour, methane and ammonia. It's important to remember that this atmosphere contained little to no oxygen, which makes it drastically different from the oxygen-rich atmosphere we have today. Understanding the role of volcanic activity in shaping this early atmosphere helps us appreciate how it laid the groundwork for future biological and chemical processes that would continue to transform the planet's atmosphere over time. In today's lesson, we examined how volcanic activity influenced the Earth's early atmosphere and the formation of oceans. We learned that during the first billion years of Earth's existence, intense volcanic activity released various gases. This volcanic outgassing contributed to the composition of the early atmosphere, which was rich in carbon dioxide, similar to the current atmospheres of Mars and Venus. We also focused on the role of water vapour released by volcanic eruptions, which condensed into liquid water forming the primordial oceans as the Earth cooled down. Another key gas introduced by volcanic activity was nitrogen, which gradually accumulated to become a major component of the atmosphere due to its chemical inertness. We also discussed the release of trace gases like methane and ammonia, which, despite being in smaller amounts, had notable effects on the greenhouse effect and early atmospheric temperatures. Watch the rest of the GCSE Chemistry course at Sophos Education.